good evening. Tonight I'm going to be drinking Rubens Crush the Groove, which is a hazy India Pale Ale. So, uh, Jim, you'll appreciate this one. Um, Rubens, obviously, um, I've talked about them before. They are a local Seattle brewery, and I've enjoyed pretty much everything I've had from them so far. Uh, I have initially wasn't much of a hop head. Um, I still don't consider myself a hop head of all the aspects of beer. It's an aspect. It's not my favorite aspect, but um, I think I've gained an appreciation for good examples of the craft. Yeah, good in my judgment. Um, and I've certainly found a few IPAs that I've enjoyed, especially since moving to the Northwest, where I'm, I suppose the hops are fresher, um, though I mean, shipping and such shouldn't be difficult, and most places get their hops dried anyways. Um, whatever the case, uh, since moving here to the Northwest, maybe I've grown up some. Um, I have enjoyed IPAs, and in particular, hazy IPAs, which are, incidentally, the Northeastern version of the IPA that has recently, in the last few years, made kind of a take-the-world-by-storm movement. Um, Hazy IPAs are characterized by less acerbic bitterness um, and more of those uh, more real brilliant tropical juicy flavors. Um, I mean, a really good, you know, Northwest IPA is going to have some really splendid grapefruit flavors and obviously depending on the hops that are used. Um, there's a wide range of possible flavors, but the the hazy IPAs or the Northwest IPAs tend to have a just a, a more tropical flavor to them. I think my favorite hazy IPA was one I had uh, out in Idaho from a local brewery out of Payette or McCall. Um, I don't recall which one in particular. I'd have to look it up. But tonight, I'm not drinking that one. I'm drinking this one. Rubens Crush the Groove. Let's pop it open. Definitely light colored, not near the orange hues that I'll see in a lot of these. But that's nice, that's almost like a pineapple juice. Yeah, pineapple juice, definitely. Uh, what do we got? An inch of head. Uh, it's a rocky head, so we have some, some variation in the bubbles, bubble sizes. It's hanging around kind of nicely. It's not disappearing too quickly. Not a whole lot of smell to this right now. Just some of the pretty typical hazy IPA basic flavors. It's it's kind of a, a basic smelling hazy IPA. The head's probably diminished by a little less than half by now. Um, so this is characterized as an easy drinking hazy IPA, so I suppose a typical set of smells is what you'd expect from something like that. Interesting. I normally expect these to have a bit more of a pronounced scent to them. This is very recently packaged. It's less than a month old. I don't know. We'll see. That's pretty good. Um, under promise, over deliver. Uh, but definitely on the mellower side of things. So the, the um, yeah, kind of the pineapple juice <laughs> motif continues. Uh, definitely, uh, yeah, pineapple, not really other tropical fruits. Um, I'm not getting any like mango or passion fruit or any of the sweeter things. Um, it's not a particularly sweet IP, uh, hazy IPA. Yeah, easy drinking is probably a really good, a really good term for this. 
Um, normally with an IPA, you know when you eat a, a really good grapefruit, uh, there's kind of that 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 bitterness you get as you as you swallow it or kind of accompanying the sweetness. Um, I've generally tasted that with a lot of IPAs and hazy IPAs, even the ones that I enjoy immensely. Uh, this one doesn't have that. This one, it's very much kind of a, a mellow pineapple juice, uh, kind of the, the hop funkiness, um, uh, woody, grassy, grassy more than woody, um, and just really mellow and mild. Yeah, that's definitely an easy drinker. I would, I would agree with that. Um, so this has been Ruben's Crush the Groove. Definitely an easy drinking hazy IPA.